This is the $88 Pocket Operator MIDI Adapter V3 sold by Hans Tech Inc. on Etsy. I have no affiliation with Hans Tech or Etsy, and actually I had no plans on buying this product, but I stumbled across it while I was looking for some other more mundane studio accessories. This adapter allows you to trigger any of the 23 buttons via MIDI and is compatible with all pocket operators. Assembly is pretty straightforward. There's a plastic sheath of sorts that slides over the pocket operator, and it contains slots that allows the PO lights to pass through and provides non-destructive access to the main PO board for the 23 pogo pins to simulate button presses. Once the plastic frame is in place, the top and bottom PCB sandwich around it, and it's held in place by the header pin connections on each side. Multiple MIDI protocols are supported and can be used simultaneously. There's even a standalone MIDI merger mode that integrates signals from all sources. There are five pin DIN and TRS MIDI in and out connections. And a separate 3.5 millimeter sync port for converting MIDI clock to PO clock. There's also a USB port for working as both a MIDI device and a MIDI host. And last but not least, this board supports BLE or Bluetooth MIDI. Power is provided over USB micro. The device is configured using a simple config file on the included micro SD card, but depending on your usage, it will likely work out of the box without any tweaking required. Also new to the studio is this Electron Digitac. Again, no affiliations or paid promotions here, although I'm certainly willing to be bought. I have the MIDI out on the Electron plugged into the 5 pin MIDI input on the PO rig. Each of the 8 MIDI tracks on the Electron are set to output notes on channel 1. But other than making sure global output port function was set to MIDI, this is as plug and play as it gets. I also have the PO audio being routed back through the Digitact, left and right inputs, so I can use the master mixer to blend the audio. After setting each track to a different MIDI note, you're able to play the PO from the Digitact live and through pattern triggers. It feels surprisingly responsive and natural, and with this PO12, you can tweak all of the sounds using the two encoders on the pocket operator, and they persist during playback. Here's a quick demo to show how everything works together. I'll be muting and unmuting tracks to show that everything is being triggered real time. There are no patterns being used on the pocket operator. All of the PO triggers are being sent from the patterns on the Digitac MIDI tracks. So that's the Pocket Operator MIDI Converter. I'll leave a link in the description and I think this thing is awesome. It's a great companion to something like the Digitac that has dedicated MIDI tracks and allows you to extend the capabilities of this small rig for a very low cost. If you were to incorporate something like a PO33, you could also add additional sample slots and really open up the possibilities. With the Digitac's dual LFOs and the ability to use single cycle waveforms, this can be a pretty powerful and portable live rig especially if you take advantage of the MIDI clock to sync converter and start chaining multiple pocket operators. I'll be doing more videos on the Digitac in the near future and explaining why I spent so much on a five-year-old sampler. I'm Ryan from Monster Logo Studios. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you soon.